Hello everyone. Salam barchaga. Sizlar bilan ikkinchi kitob 21-hikoyani o'qiymiz. Bu hikoyamizning sarlavhasi From the Earth to the Stars. Qani yoqasan boshladik. Jeremy was from a family of miners. Like them, he worked underground during the day. His job was to gather raw minerals and jewels. Each night after work, he lay awake in, a, in an open field. With his telescope, he looked at the stars. He was amazed by the skill of space. He wished someday he might travel there. One day, there was an accident in the mine. Water poured into the mine. Everything was dark. Jeremy stretched out and grabbed a piece of wood. It kept him from sinking. Jeremy felt the presence nearby. I am an angle, said the voice. What? Jeremy exclaimed. You must never come underground again. Have the courage to make your wishes come true. For a long time, he floated in silence. Then he heard other voices. The other miners were coming to rescue him. The next day, Jeremy skipped work. He decided to become an astronaut. For the next two years, he studied hard. One day, he was given permission to participate in a mission to space. His wish had been granted. His spaceship left the ground. It went higher until there was no more gravity. He saw satellites floating next to the ship. Then Jeremy saw a beautiful angle outside his spaceship. It smiled at Jeremy. For some minutes, Jeremy could not speak. Finally, he said, Thank you. Mana bu odamning tarixini o'qib chiqamiz. Bu odam o'zi qonchi bo'lib ishlarini ishlabdi va keyinchalik bu koinotga chiqibdi. Qani bu qanday qilib qonchilikdan koinotga chiqdi ekan? From the earth to the stars, yerdan yulduzgacha. Jeremy was from a family of miners. Jeremy qonchilar oilasining Jeremy qonchilar oilasidan edi. Like them, he worked underground during the day. Ular singarin kun bo'yi u yer ostida ishlardi. Underground degani yer osti, miner degani qonchi. He was jo- his job was to gather raw minerals and jewels. Uning ishi xom pishmagan, yetilmagan minerallarni va qimmatbaho toshlarni to'plash edi. Each night after work, he lay awake in an open field. Har kech ishdan so'ng u ochiq bir maydonda uyg'oq yotardi. Awake, awake degani uyg'oq. With his telescope, he looked at the stars. O'zining teleskopi bilan u yulduzlarga qarardi. He was amazed by the skill of space. U koinotning kengligidan hayratda qolardi. Scale degani esa katta, kenglik, ko'lam. Space degani o'zi bo'shliq degani, lekin space yana bitta ma'nosi bu koinot. Ya'ni koinot o'zi bo'shliq ku. Osha ma'noda. He wished someday he might travel there. U biror kun ana shu sayohat qilishni orzu qilardi. One day there was an accident in the mine. Kunlarning birida konda bir bir falokat ro'y beribdi. Accident degani o'sha falokat. Mine degani kon. Water poured into the mine. Suv kon ichiga quyilibdi. Pour degani o'sha quyilmoq, to'kilmoq. Everything was dark. Har narsa qorong'i edi. Jeremy stretched out and grabbed a piece of wood. Jeremy cho'zilib bir yog'och bo'lagini tortib olibdi. Stretch degani o'zi cho'zmoq degani, stretch out degani shu cho'zilmoq. Masalan, suvda yotibdi-da, qo'lini cho'zib turib, bitta yog'och bo'lagini tortib olibdi. Grab degani tortib olmoq. It kept him from sinking. Bu ya'ni shu tortib olgan yog'ochi uni cho'kishdan saqlab qolibdi. Jeremy felt a presence nearby. Jeremy yaqinroqda bir mavjudligini his qilibdi, bir bir nimadirni his qilibdi deb tarjima qilsak bo'ladi. Jeremy yaqinroqda bir nimadirni his qilibdi deb tasavvur qilinglar. U kon ichida hamma yoq qorong'u. Yaqinroqda bir shitirlagan ovozdimi yoki bir kimdir borligini his qilibdi. Presence degani o'zi bor bo'lish, mavjudlik degani. I am and I am an angel, said the voice. Men 
bir farishtaman debdi bir ovoz. What? Jeremy exclaimed. Nima? deb Jeremy xitob qilibdi. You must never come underground again. Sen endi hech qachon yer ostiga qaytib kelmasliging kerak. Have the courage to make your wishes come true. Orzularing amalga oshlik uchun jasoratga, jasurlikka ega bo'l deyapti. Taniga bir farishta botirlikka ega bo'l. Bot orzularing amalga oshish uchun botir bo'l deyapti haligi farishta. For a long courage degani courage. Courage degani o'sha jasurlik, dovyuraklik, botirlik. For a long time he floated in silence. Uzoq vaqt mobaynida u sokinlikda suzibdi. Float degani o'zi float, suv ustida suzmoq degan. Then he heard other voices. Keyin u boshqa ovozlarni eshitdi. The other miners were coming to rescue him. Boshqa konchilar uni qutqarish uchun kelishayotgan edilar. The next day, Jeremy skipped work. Ertasi kuni Jeremy ishga bormabdi. Skip degani o'sha ishni qilmabdi, ishga bormabdi degan ma'noda. Skip degani o'zi bajarmaslik, qilmaslik. Undan oldin work kelyapti, demak bu ishga bormagan. Ertasi kuni Jeremy ishga bormabdi. He decided to become an astronaut. U bir astronaut bo'lishga qaror qilibdi. For the next two years, he studied hard. Keyingi 2 yil mobaynida u qattiq o'qibdi. One day, he was given permission to participate in a mission to space. Kunlarning birida unga unga koinot uchun koinot uchun bir missiyaga ishtirok etish huquqi berilibdi. Kunlarning birida unga koinot uchun bir missiyada qatnashish ishtiroki berilibdi. Qatnashish uchun ruxsat berilibdi. Permission degan ruxsat, participate degan qatnashmoq. Ya'ni Jeremy qattiq o'qibdi, uje qonchilikdan chiqib faqatgina astronavt astronavt bo'lish uchun qattiq o'qibdi va kunlarning birida unga koinotda o'tkaziladigan bitta missiya uchun ishtirok etish ruxsati berilibdi. His wish had been granted. Uning orzusi amalga oshirilibdi, uning orzusi berilibdi. Grant degani bermoq. His spaceship left the ground. Uning havo kemasi space degani o'sha fazo kemasi, uning fazo kemasi yerni tark etibdi. It went higher until there was the more gravity. Uning kemasi yerni tortishish kuchi yo tortishish kuchi qolmagunga qadar balandroq qarab ko'tarilibdi. Gravity degan tortishish kuchi He saw satellites floating next to the ship. U kemaning oldida suzib yurgan yo'ldoshlarni ko'ribdi. Satellite degan o'sha satellite, yo'ldosh, masalan, sputniklar bo'ladi va yer atrofida uchib yuradigan kunlarni ham satellite deydi. Satellite ning o'zi ma'nosi ko'p. Oy degan ba'zi satellite deb ataladi yerning yo'ldoshi. Then Jeremy saw a beautiful angle outside his spaceship. Keyin Jeremy kemaning kemasidan tashqarida bir chiroyli farishtani ko'ribdi. It smiled at Jeremy. U Jeremyga qarab jilmayibdi. For some minutes, Jeremy could not speak. Bir necha minut mobaynida Jeremy gapira olmabdi. Finally, he said, "Thank you." Va nihoyat u rahmat debdi. Hikoyani mana o'qib bo'ldik. Endi so'zlarni tarjima qilib chiqamiz. Miner, qonchi, underground, yer osti, row, xom, pishmagan, mineral. Mineral, mineralni hamma biladi, yerni tagidan olinadigan mineral moddalar. Jewel, qimmatli tosh, awake, awake, uyg'oq, telescope, telescope, teleskop, teleskop deb hamma biladi, bu koinotni kuzatadigan durbin. Scale, kattalik, kela, ko'lam, kenglik, pour, pour, to'kmoq, suyuqlikka nisbatan quymoq, stretch, stretch, cho'zmoq, presence, bor bo'lish, mavjudlik, courage. Courage, dov yuraklik, botirlik, float, float, suv ustida suzmoq, skip, bajarmaslik, qilmaslik, astronaut, astronaut, astronaut hamma biladi, oyga umuman fazoga chiqadigan insonlar astronaut deydi. Permission, ruxsat, izn, participate, ishtirok etmoq, qatnashmoq, grant, bermoq, gravity, tortishish kuchi satellite yo'ldosh yoki sputnik last step is to read whole story in english from the earth to the stars jeremy was from a family of miners like them he worked underground during the day 
His job was to gather raw minerals and jewels. Each night after work, he lay awake in an open field. With his telescope, he looked at the stars. He was amazed by the scale of space. He wished someday he might travel there. One day, there was an accident in the mine. Water poured into the mine. Everything was dark. Jeremy stretched out and grabbed a piece of food. I'm sorry, a piece of wood. Jeremy stretched stretched out and grabbed a piece of wood. It kept him from sinking. Jeremy felt the presence nearby. I am an angle, said a voice. What? Jeremy exclaimed. You must never come underground again. Have the courage to make your wishes come true. For a long time he floated in silence. Then he heard other voices. The other miners were coming to rescue him. The next day, Jeremy skipped work. He decided to, to become an astronaut. For the next two years, he studied hard. One day, he was given permission to participate in a mission to space. His wish had been granted. His spaceship left the ground. It went higher until there was no more gravity. He saw satellites floating next to the ship. Then Jeremy saw a beautiful angle outside his spaceship. It smiled at Jeremy. For some minutes, Jeremy could not speak. Finally, he said, Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We finished this story. See you next time. Bye for now.